Good morning and welcome to Interbike 2013. My name is Chris Reichert from Specialized Bikes and we're going to show you through all the great new things that we've got here for the next coming model year 2014. Welcome to Specialized. Bike Insiders. Real riders, real reviews. Another development at Specialized for this year is not necessarily a product, not one specific product. This year we came out and we wanted to change the entire bike industry. And what we wanted to do is essentially bring aerodynamics to everything. Aerodynamics affect every rider on the road, whether you're a commuter trucking to work with a big backpack on your back, or you're in the Tour de France and you're racing for a world championship title in time trial. These athletes all get affected by the wind. That's the biggest resistive force that any athlete has to push through. So if we can make the rider, the bike, everything more aerodynamic, that's not only gonna make you have more fun on the bike, but it's gonna make it faster. You're gonna be able to go further. You're gonna be able to get more fit. Everything's gonna get better. So Specialized launched a brand new wind tunnel, a facility at the Morgan Hill office that allows us to test anything from wheels to bikes, athletes on bikes, uh, environments. We've talked about how we can put in different features into the, into the actual uh, test chamber to simulate what it's like to get a crosswind on a city street. We develop it in CAD in the morning. We take that same thing, print it out on a three-dimensional printer. We walk across the street to the wind tunnel and we're testing by noon. That means that we're able to iterate faster and faster and faster and make products that are going to be better than anyone else on the market. When the tunnel was being built, Mark Cody uh, and a couple other members of our staff came together to help design the whole shape. So not only is it a wind tunnel that's on the premises, but it's a wind tunnel that was designed by people that work at the company. So between Mark Cody, Chris Yu, Chuck Texera, Chris Deluzio, that team of four, those are the guys that really came together to build this tunnel and to make it something that no one else can do. When you want to talk about aerodynamic products, this year the buzzword has been Aero Road Helmet. Uh, Specialized came into that game earlier this year at the Tour de France with the S-Works Evade. A helmet that's designed, again, not just to be aerodynamic, but it's got to be a road helmet. And if you want a road helmet, you've got to have it be comfortable and it's got to have great ventilation. Using some of the facilities back in, at Specialized to hone in what this helmet was all about, we learned that you can put a vent into a helmet but it's all about the orientation of how it goes. So if you look at the S-Works Evade, the vents in the front of the helmet are vertical. They run or up in the front of your head. Now, that actually lets a lot of air flow into the helmet, through the helmet, and out the rear exhaust ports without affecting the overall aerodynamic profile. If you look up on the top of the helmet, we've kept a lot of the shell closed. That's gonna help to keep that aerodynamic profile and make sure the helmet's really, really fast. Mark, uh, Mark Cody actually runs a lot of our aero program. And we had a number of athletes in there the other day. Uh, we were in our new wind tunnel for the first time with me. And this is, so this is the thing. So <laughs> about a year, year and a half, no, it was longer than that. About two years ago, we had to come up with a good body that would work for our mannequin the wind tunnel helmets. <laughs> and so we were, we were trying to match some pro tour athletes. Don't make his ego bigger. But hey guys. We, uh, we couldn't get any of our pro riders over from Europe. So Chris went in and he got a 3D scan of himself. <laughs> And this is Chris Reichert, also Chris Reichert. So this is our cricket mannequin. And there's actually a model of the mannequin that we use in the tunnel that's a model of Chris Reichert. And we ran <laughs> helmets that we've been running on the mannequin for about two years. We developed this, the s works McLaren TT helmet on the mannequin. And then we, it's Chris. I know, Chris. <laughs> but then we did the same test on the actual Chris Reichert. And they correlate. Total correlation is like the same thing, which it should. <laughs> right. But it's a little bit awkward when the mannequin's next to the guy. <laughs>